Thanks, Till Dog. Fitzy once again with Dogger by my side. So I'm not even big now? See, I'll tell you what, the weather's warming up, the flowers are starting to bloom, nature is really getting ready to put on my favourite season. Ah, uh, yes, there is something truly romantic and beautiful That's about right, spring. it's cricket season. I'll tell you what, big dog, I've been tampering with my balls all winter waiting for this moment. The first test against Pakistan took place in Dubai a couple of weeks ago and boy didn't we serve it up to them. It took an incredible effort just to eke out a draw. Wouldn't exactly call that giving it to them. Correct BD, yet another display of dominance considering the governing body cruelly banned our superstars. Smithy, Warner, Bancroft. Cruel. They banned them for cheating. Cheekily wiping the ball. Like, there was nothing malicious about it. Spencer, if we don't start taking responsibility for our own actions, we're going to lose the reputation for good sportsmanship Aussie athletes have been building for over 100 years. Please, the ball tampering scandal was just a conspiracy drummed up by the Labor Party to spark an Australian leadership coup. Look it up. The suspensions paved way for Aaron Finch, Travis Head and Marnus Labuschagne to make their test taboos. Labuschagne, it's pronounced Labuschagne. I'm... Pretty sure Marcus Labuschagne and Head were both dismissed for ducks in the first innings before the boys in baggy green held on against the powerhouse Pakistan lineup, including Yunus Khan, Shahid Afridi, they're retired, Virat Kohli, he's not even Pakistani, Usman Khawaja, he's Australian, he played in the test against Pakistan. Boy oh boy did he! A combined two innings score of 226 helped the Aussies bat out the final two days, giving them the chance to win the series. The crowd went wild. That's all from us, Matilda. Back to you.